Have you ever wanted to build your own website or phone app? As DIA reports, you don't need to be a math genius to learn how. Laptops, tablets, and smartphones all have one thing in common. They depend on programs to operate. That's why the computer experts who write those operating systems are called programmers. They use letters, numbers, and symbols to create the code that tells the computers what to do. And if you think that only adults can learn to write code, listen to this. The younger you get into coding, really, the better you are um, in your career, whether you want to go into programming itself or if you want to go into other industries. The New York Code and Design Academy offers a summer camp and classes for teens to learn to code. And if you're worried that you need to be a computer whiz, don't worry. But some basics are, you know, kind of helpful, like obviously learning how to type, learning how to like navigate through your folders, uh, uh, name, naming your files, and like naming standard naming conventions. Uh, but other than that, nothing. It's pretty easy to pick up. Students are taught skills such as building web pages and designing mobile applications. We've learned things like HTML and CSS, which were basically just basic little website things of how to do like basic background colors and how to post links. After mastering that, Susanna says students are ready to move into more complex territory. And then we learned Ruby and Sinatra, which were how to um, have users like put in passwords and usernames and then have the website actually check its database to see if those were correct. They've all learned how to build database-driven websites. So something like Twitter or Facebook is all within their reach, you know, once they're done with this program. I'm working on an app that allows students to basically update their grades and the amount of time they spend studying and over time they're able to check the process in their academic careers. But my project is similar to Metacritic and Metacritic is kind of like this website where they do a lot of reviews on everything like music, TV shows, uh, movies. Right now I'm working on sort of like in a way like a Facebook or like a Twitter page where I can have like users post the uh, you know little blogs or like I'm gonna try and have them be able to post pictures as well and maybe even videos. Being able to write code is more than just fun. It's also a great skill set to have for a future career. So sometimes you can become a web developer, uh, you could lead a team that's developing a software product, you could go into any of these STEM fields, you could become you know, a mission control person, or you could become a scientist who analyzes vast amounts of data. So far I've learned a lot, and designing apps and working on the web. It's just something that comes with practice and patience because you're not going to be like a pro your first day. It takes time and it's a skill that has to be built. There's no code needed to know that's great advice. With the growing popularity of computers, there's always going to be demand for people who understand the technology. So if you're interested in learning to code, look online for courses in your area. And yes, someone had to write the code for you to be able to do that.